Welcome in Sao Paulo. We are at SP Archi, the art fair of Sao Paulo. And uh, I am here next to a beautiful work by Marepe called Archi a Coisinha no Mundo, which means uh, art, uh, the kitchen uh, in the world. The kitchen in the world, what does it evoke with this beautiful face? Uh, and all these uh, materials that I used uh, here in Brazil uh, by uh, people, Bra uh, this artist is uh, Brazilian, all these materials that I used to create uh, uh, food and share food with uh, others. And art is like food. We share it, we are uh, giving something to other people, we are getting uh, fed by art and uh, it has uh, all different kinds of tastes within the world. And of course, it boils, so the mind uh, boils with the art. Uh, we are in this uh, uh, very important gallery from uh, Sao Paulo, Luis Astrinha, and uh, here I would like to present you a work by Tunga, it is called uh, Milky Fallings, and uh, Tunga is a, another Brazilian artist, very famous uh, in the world, and uh, working a lot with bells. And uh, I've heard that there is a word uh, here in Brazil that says that uh, if milk falls uh, falls over, it's not very important. Who cares? It has already fallen, so let it, let it be. Don't think about it. Originally, this uh, sculpture had uh, some uh, elements of uh, grease that uh, have disappeared, but have uh, stained the, um, the pieces of this sculpture. And it is called a maquette because it's, it's, a, it's a model for a larger one that is completely different at the end, but it's also very, very interesting. And now, a last work that I really enjoyed a lot, not only this coffee uh, table, but especially this work by Fernanda Gomez, another Brazilian artist, who is just taking found objects, most of the time wooden objects, and that she mixes with a little uh, piece of uh, like nails or metal pieces. This nail is rusty, as you can see. And uh, she creates a complete new world with uh, this box that she has built extra for this, uh, uh, this piece of wood. It's, a, it's a just a, a piece of wood, it's a found piece of wood. And uh, by putting it there with this nail, with this point, I would say, um, she brings uh, uh, to us, with this untitled piece, uh, um, a very poetic uh, uh, image, abstraction, um, unperfected abstraction, but also natural abstraction because it has, not been, it has not been meant to be an abstract piece by the carpenter who's been working with this wood, but it has uh, appeared to the artist to be a piece that could be an artwork and that is now an artwork. Beautiful one.